five minutes early. Five minutes early. What's that? Military. If you're, yeah. If you're military paid, time. Yeah. If you're on time, you're late. <laughs> All right. Let me see. I'm trying to see if I can make sure I can see both. Because you're going to be going from the camera to. Oh, well, I'm going to be going kind of like. I'm going to stay in this area right here. Do I need to try to get the iron in? No. <laughs> that was, I don't want to send everybody into a panic. <laughs> I'm kind of learning. You got to learn. <clears throat> something near and dear to my heart and that is the emotional block um regular people call it a crumb block but i call it my emotional block because this was the very first thing i ever worked on as a quilter when i needed my own time and as you can see all right these are all emotional blocks <laughs> there's quite a few all right this bag has nothing but emotions in emotions and yeah you can hear, you can hear the screams. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me see who we have on with us. Welcome, everyone. Welcome. Happy our, Sunday. Happy Sunday. Yes. Cheryl. For those of you who are stateside, because it, it may not be Sunday That's somewhere else. That's very true. How sensitive of you, baby. That is so uh, I'm this not being sensitive. You, I'm just being. This is why you make the big bucks. <laughs> oh, okay, that see. was true. <laughs> let's see who we have on. Hi, Vivian. Hey, Vivian. Jim Bennett, hi. Hey, Jim, how are hey, you? Hey, Anitra, how you doing? Anitra. Diane, how are you, hi, Anitra? H -H. We're thinking about you. Yes, we are. Drina Murphy from Bahrain. Hey, Bahrain. Drina. <laughs> hi, Mimsy. <laughs> Good Amen. afternoon to you. Um, You know what? Let me make sure that y'all can hear me. You know, I should have do all this beforehand, but sometimes I just forget. What happened? Make sure the volume is up. Maybe the mic's right there. I know, but is the volume up? Sorry. Hang on, y'all. Hang on. I got to do preparation. I know, baby, but there's so much I have to think about beforehand. Let me just make sure. I want to make sure y'all can hear him. We can hear? Everybody can hear, right? Okay. I apologize. My mistake. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Hey. We got. Hey. Um, S. Taylor, Deborah Hunter. Hey, Deborah. Zanola Diggs from Nashville. Hey, Zanola. Hey. Hey. You know what happened. Look, 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 look. As soon as the cameras go on. As soon as the cameras go on, so do they. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put them away. Um, we have June Hansen from Iowa. Hey, Deb Hey, Iowa. Deb's on with us. Hey, Deb, how are you? California. California, that's where our grandkids live. Well, my son and our grandkids. <laughs> that's weird. I would, I would mention my grandkids before I mention my son. <laughs> I think they're isn't a little that, more important. Isn't that how that works? Yeah, that's how it's supposed to work, right? We got Shia Creeks, Lita Bunnell from Cal oh, also from California. Cali, all right. Ellen Campbell says, hey, Court Marie. Hey, Ellen, how are you? Peachy Cheeks, I like that. Hey, Peachy Cheeks. D. Tittle. We got Wilmington, North Carolina in the house. Wilmington. That's where your grandparents used to live at yes, one point. Yes, they did. My grandparents used to live in Wilmington. They live um, in quite a few places, but yeah. Wilmington was one of them. Hey! Anitra's making memory bears today, so she's sewing but quilting. Oh, okay. But quilting will have to wait. Um, and Ellen is from Indiana. Oh, F Ellen Campbell, Campbell's Creation. I'm from Indiana and Mississippi. Nice. Sabrina Salcedo, Milton, Tennessee. Hey, Sabrina, how are you? Um... Kim, okay, Deb's working on a clothesline rope basket. Hmm. 
That sounds interesting. That sounds interesting. So many, got, so many creators. We have so many creators. We got um, Mary, Marion D79 from the Netherlands. Go Netherlands. From the Netherlands. Netherlands. <laughs> <laughs> Mimsy is from Allentown, Pennsylvania. All right. Allentown. We got Arizona. When Denver. I lived in Philly, we used to go there to get, go shopping. Um, like, uh, I think we used to go to like a, 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 a flea market there. In Allentown? I think in Allentown. I'm not sure. Oh, we were young. I was young then. You're young now, baby. Yeah. Tell my, <laughs> tell my bones. Tell my bones <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, tell mine that too. <laughs> um. My bones would have a great argument. <laughs> we got Adam Bay. Hello from Southern Virginia. So glad to catch y'all. Virginia. Today. Glad you were able to catch us and be with us today. Yes. It's gorgeous out today. That's Hope cold. It it's cold out for us. Actually, right now it's pretty nice. Oh, is it? Yeah. It was cold today. It was. This morning. I thought it was. Well, we appreciate. Yeah. So we're glad you're here. All of you. I'm sorry. I let me see. Let me try to get everybody. You All right. Bar Marine, uh, even if I am an expat, I'm dreamer. Oh, expat. Expat. Something on our minds. Uh huh. Somebody from hey, that's somebody shooting for for our heart right uh -huh. there. Yeah. Baton Rouge. Let me go put them. Okay. All right. So let me let me cover something real quick. This seam ripper right here from this seam ripper I got from from um, Becky and Keith over at uh, Power Tools with Thread Store. This thing is really nice. So I've been all right. I have to admit something. I have been I have I've used it. I use a seam ripper all the time. But this thing is like out of control nice. Okay. So um, there was something I had to take apart on on a quilt that I'm working on, and Let me zoom in a little bit. I busted out the seam ripper right here. Built, look at that! It fits my hand like it's supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> I love this thing though. It's really nice. So it's made specifically for you, isn't that nice? Yes, this thing is really nice. So I keep it close by. All right, I love it. And thank you so much, guys. I really, I really appreciate this. Power Tools with Thread Store. Power Tools with Thread Store. That was um, Becky and Keith. Keith. Yeah. yeah. We didn't get to read their letter when we went live. I think that was like two weeks two ago. Two weeks, yeah. But, um, yeah, and I, 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 I'm, I got your note. I won't drop it, all right? <laughs> That's the last thing you need is one of these. Go, ha! That's, you can hear that, right? Yeah. That's, that's Auntie. So, Auntie has her own little, because... When we rescued her, she was locked up in like this. It was pretty bad. But she has a thing for staying in her little kennel thing. We have a little kennel that we keep upstairs. And we try to let her out and, and hang out and come get on the bed with us and stuff. But she just loves going in it. It's something in her head. But except for today. She except for today. Yeah. Like, so is. today, she's just going to sit out and harass everybody. While we're <laughs> while we're alive. Okay, we got... Kathleen Dabney. Um, oh, so if I had to rate this, bobbin, this is a five out of five bobbins. Okay, so. Oh, you get five out of five. Yeah, it's rare that I give five out of five, but the soul quilt. No, no, no. Um, what, is it? <laughs> what is it, man? Power Tools with Power Thread Tools with Thread Store. Becky Look them up. And Keith Thompson. And look, and I'm sure Keith was thinking about. Something for a guy. Yeah, he yeah, was. Yeah, because this thing was nice. I mean, they literally said he made it for you. Yeah. Thanks, so Keith. I appreciate sweet. it. Sweet. That is awesome. So look at the ice picker, ice stabber thing. This thing is nice. I love this. <laughs> I know what it's called. I know the cool and police are out there like, that's not what it's called. That's what I call it because my quilt room, my rules. Oh, Sharon Wilson said, hi, everyone. This man is the most generous soul in the world. Oh, hi, God. Sharon. So what she Sharon did? was the one that lost all her fabric. Oh, okay. And, um, we don't have to tell the story. I know, really. but if anybody wants to be generous enough to... Okay, yeah. Anyway, Don't so anyway... All right, we won't tell her story. So also, you guys, this thing right here. So this is... is we can't see it. Oh, because I'm, I'm so enamored. <laughs> all right, so this is a tulip pink, all right? Rotary cutter, 40, 45 millimeter rotary cutter. It's ergonomic, and this thing is amazing. 
Okay, it so I, stays in its own case. All right, so when we do when we do the New York Beauty, I'm gonna bust it out again. Yeah, I only used it once, but the one time that I used it, oh, it's a dream. It's a dream. I'm gonna pull it out. All right, wait. There's gonna be gold light that shoots out. When I open, okay. <laughs> yeah. That one is gonna yeah. Be. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is so nice. We still can't see it. So this is this is from the Brewer Soul Quote Create. All right, look at that, man. This is not something you hang on the wall, okay? This, look at this. Look how he handles it with kick gloves. Oh my. Look at the handle, all right? And it's ergonomic, right? So a guy like me with big hands, all right? Look at that. It's like grabbing onto the wife. Okay? <laughs> oh, it fits God. perfectly. Oh my, this thing is nice. And it cuts like butter. Does it cut like butter? Like butter. So I don't even look. So I only use this once. But this is a five out of five. Look at that. I, I've given two five out of five bobbins today. Five. This thing is really, really nice. It's like one of those things where you want to put it up and not use it. Like it's like a trailer queen, right? So, but we're gonna use it when we build the New York Beauty, so you can watch it. All right. So, and these things are really. This is a really nice rotor cutter. Really nice. He likes it. I he find myself it. like when I'm cutting, watching the blade, like. I want to watch the blade. It, it's really nice. Oh, it's that nice, huh? Yes, very nice. Look at this. Watch this. Wow. Oh, See the gold light on. shooting off of it? Let me, no, oh. you don't have to do that. Don't do that, man. You're going to knock over the camera. I ain't going to knock it over. This thing is so sweet. Okay, right, let's see who but, else we got. Thank you. Join us. Virginia. Hey, Virginia. Kimberly Smith. Jonesville, Virginia. Um, oh, boy. Here we go. Teresa McPay. Hey, Teresa. everybody. Hey, Teresa. Yeah, how are you? How are your grandson doing? Yeah. Oh, wow. I lost my spot, y'all. Okay, right. so... So, today we're going to talk about... Oh, we should open up some stuff, huh, baby? Yeah. All right, so... I'm sewing on sawtooth star blocks. Ooh, Ooh sawtooth. sawtooth. Sweetheart. Jaded, huh? I'm going to go on... No, no, I'll, I'll just reach across. Jaded after... <laughs> Jaded says, afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Marine. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi from Bend, Oregon. Um, hi from New Hampshire. Linda Lindsay Here's from some, Melbourne. Look at what's this? Look at this. Oh, this what is, is an iron rest. Let me guess. Oh. Barbara. Let me oh, guess dogs. Watch. Oh. Sorry, that was doggies. No name. Oh, no? Just, oh, hold on. Okay. Gift, How sweet. What is but it? But it's um, the Gypsy Quilter Silicone Iron Rest. Look at that. It's an iron rest. Oh, after the, your last... Uh... Well, I guess <laughs> we went into a, somebody went into a panic because... Oh, they made a panic. Yeah. I, I left this iron on the mat uh, because I'm so used to my smart iron and no legs popped up. So everyone was like, no, 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 get the iron up. <laughs> So I had to grab the iron. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm spoiled because my wife got me a smart iron, and now I now if I have dozens of these showing up. <laughs> Protect yourself at all times. That's what they say in the fight, right? That's right. All right. And here's another. Bennett is cutting fabric for his block swap. Oh, cool. Block swap. Who's doing a block Who's swap? Who's doing a block swap? Yeah. We want to get in on that. Anitra says, I love how the dogs help with the sound check. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sound yeah. check and making sure that the camera and a, doesn't Yeah, get. and a um, tripod check <laughs> and a microphone check. Ooh, Tyler's putting up wallpaper. Tyler's putting up wallpaper. Oh, shoot. Tyler, you're a man of many, many uh, Most marine, Most Marines are. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Because I call Mark a jack of all trades. Most right. people would say master of none, but I say he's, he's I'm the master, master of none, but no, you I dabble I dabble in some things. Yeah, he can do some stuff. Baby, this is from stuff. Eklund Pet Treats. So this is oh. obviously not for me. Oh, this is for uh the doggies, huh? Oh. Look at this. Ooh. Ooh, Ooh Eco kind. Oh. Eco kind. Are there four in there? Oh, uh, there are four. Oh. There are four. No. Someone Thank counted you. how many babies we had. Eco kind. And this is. Ooh. They don't put names on these things. Oh, that's are. nice. Oh, they're gonna love that after dinner tonight. Oh yeah, they're gonna go in. Well, Eco kind dog chews. Well, 
Thank you so much. Hi, Joanne Gilbertson, Port Angeles, Washington. Wiley Wise One, Tanya <laughs> says Auntie Ears. I know. She she reminds me of Donkey from um Oh, yeah. this is from Barbara. Ba Barbara Corbett. My, this is my Amazon wife. <laughs> Thank me and my you, Amazon Barbara. wife have a thing going what, on. What the treats? Yeah, the dog treats are. Oh Barbara. Oh Barbara. Okay, show my yeah. This? Yes. Right here? I don't know what I'm showing though. Okay, so one of the subscribers, mm -hmm. um, Sarah Johnson, who is a crafter mm -hmm. and is subscribed to my sister's channel, Mindless Crafting, sent this that we're about to show you. One for myself and one for my mom. And oh my gosh. Okay, here's the stand, I guess. Uh-huh. But oh, look, wow. look, at look at that. Is that not I adorable? Want, I don't want to draw. <gasps> I'm gonna put it up in my office. That's Is nice. that nice? Look at the dragonfly. Oh my goodness. And she made one for myself and one for my mother. So Sarah. I, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got you just saw her face. You got jealous. <laughs> Sarah, I wanna tell you thank you so much. That was very nice. That is very nice. You. you have to put this up there. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in my office. Right too. behind your seat. I sure am. That's nice. That is gorgeous. Yes. Yes. Um, uh, uh, Drina, maybe Doggy just has a lot to say about quilting. Uh, Doggy just wants to show out. Yeah, they know when the camera's, camera's on. on. They definitely know when the camera's on. All right, and this box is from, let's see what we got. This is from Judy and Ed in North Bend, Oregon. Kristen H., you're never late. Hey, from Pittsburgh, she says, but you're never late. You're always right on time. Right on time. Ooh, fabrics. Aw, oh, love to you both, says Karen. My fur baby cutie pie says hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cutie pie, that's a cute name. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. Fabric. Fabric. Ooh. Oh, right, wow. Somebody sent the box out. Oh, wow. Here's another. Open this up here. Oh, Barbara said I sent something for the fur baby. <laughs> thank you, oh, Barbara. Thank you, Barbara. So Sharon says, is the rotary cut a 45 millimeter or 60 millimeter? It's a 45. D. Tittle says, been, watch, been binge watching your older videos. So <laughs> many wonderful quilt advice and recipes. Oh, thank you. Oh, wow. Like, $2 I, bill. Man. A what? In honor of our veterans. $2 bank note. Oh. Our legal tender, U.S. currency. Oh, wow. Thank you. Who said that? Who? This is from, um, uh, this is from Judy and Ed from North Bend, Oregon. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Fabric, Judy. look at these five and a half, look at these five and a half squares. Oh, Nice, nice. Oh, so Layer so cake. Oh, oh, it's got camo in there. Oh, yeah. And you know how daddy likes camo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, oh, here's a, a mat bed. Pot, a oh, pot mat, right? yeah, 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 yeah. I love those. It's nice. I love those. That almost looks crumb like a crumb. Almost. Yeah. I we use those. and we use those warm those uh, bowl warmers. Yeah, I all remember, the time. Yeah. As soon as we take stuff out of the microwave. As soon as we learn what it was. Yeah. <laughs> nah, we're it like, took a little while. Nah, I had, to, like, I had to catch up. A bowl koozie, right? A bowl koozie. Bowl koozie. That's the name of it. Hi, Marita. She says, finally was able to catch you live. Pam's country sewing. Hello, friend. Hugs from Pam and John. I've been so sick. Glad to see you. Oh. Uh -huh. We're glad you're back on the men. Yeah. Look, you gotta stay safe out here. Yes. The iron rest should be from me unless you get multiples. Barbara! <laughs> Barbara, thank you. Barbara. Barbara. <laughs> I already been out letting your husband know what's going on. So Shannon says, when losing all nice. my fabric, it brought an entire new meaning to it's only fabric and it's only it's thread. It's heartbroken. Oh. So nice. Adisha <laughs> says, Mark, your iron was smoking and I'm not <laughs> talking about a cigar. <laughs> 
I imagine in my head everyone sitting at home watching the live and flinching because they see the iron. I know, like, like, what the iron? I gotta get the iron. How fast can I type to tell them to get the iron off? Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, Teresa says she's doing well. I'm settling in, living with my daughter and her family right now. Good. In June, I'll be moving to my sons and family. April will be one year my husband passed from brain cancer. Mm. I remember. I remember that. Mm -hmm. Boy, man, that's tough. All right, so when we do the New York Beauty, we're going to be going out of this book right here. It's by Cynthia White. So he finally got his book. The King. Uh oh, somebody said they got all their supplies. Hold on, I'm gonna skip. All right, forward. so look, and the reason why we're going with this book because look what look what she gave you, look what, look what she gave us. She gave us templates, right? So we're gonna be cutting these temp, taking these templates out the book, and we'll probably copy. We'll make a few copies of them, and we're going right off of her templates. Mm -hmm. That's what makes it easy. Okay, mm -hmm. we're not making our own templates. We're gonna trace right off of hers. And she's got great patterns in here. This is a good book to start off. If you're doing a New York Beauty and you're, you're going you're gonna to be going with us on the quilt alone, this is the one we're working out of, okay? So Marita says, I got all my supplies for the New York Beauty. She ready, bro. Dazzling Beauty. Can't wait to start. Looks oh, yeah. very intimidating. It looks intimidating. It really does, but it's not. Once you start getting... And the thing about the New York Beauty, to me, is it's a rhythm. Once you start getting into the rhythm, all of a sudden, you didn't eat lunch or dinner. You know, because you're just so into it. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love about the New York Beauty. It's the, 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 what are you, the, um, the details. Uh, yeah, the details, but the monot not monotony, but the repetitiveness mm -hmm. of the pattern is what makes me, like, lose time and appreciate the New York Beauty for what it is. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go ham on the New York Beauty, okay? We're going to have a great time. I can't wait to start it. So I'm like hurrying up to do my wife's quilt so we can just bam go right into it. Okay. So um, the quilt, the block swap, Jim says, is through Quilts on Tour. It's a small group, but fun. Yeah, we. You don't have to get on that. Yeah. You yeah. know, we might need to get some details from Jim. Yeah, I have, to, I have to get all uh, get all online, get off get offline with uh Jim. Do a Good block morning swap. from Northeastern Oregon. I'm new to trying. I'm new to trying to quilt, and I I enjoy your videos. Great. Well, welcome, well, Sherry. Well, you are the, what's her name? Sherry Morris. Sherry, you are the perfect one we want. <laughs> the, you are what, what I've made this channel for, the new quilter, all right? So hang in there, all right? I will never leave you behind. I will always be here to explain. And all those subscribers down there, they are great at teaching. Yes, I learn from are. them all the time. Yes, they are. And this new quilters quilt. are the best. I love new quilters. Quilt Nation. The Quilt Nation. I love new quilters. Because new quilters have no bad habits. They, they're they willing to learn. And the, it's hard to recruit them into the quilting police. You'll get that. You'll get pointed out later. All right. All right. So look. So Mimsy says New York Beauty sucks you in. It does. Uh -huh. It does. And, and the thing about New York Beauty, too, is there's no rules. Look at it. Look at it. It's just like all over. And you can be all over with the New York Beauty, okay? Man, we're going to have, this is going to be fun. I cannot <laughs> wait, okay? Look, this was the man who was so scared of New York Beauty. Yeah, New York Beauty was an intimidator. It, it had me running for the hills. And, now and then, uh, you know, Anitra would be like, hey, come back down here. <laughs> but look, I love the New York Beauty, okay? It's my favorite. I have to be honest. It's my favorite. You got Brazil in the house. Brazil. Uh-huh. Nice. Um, D. Tittle says, New York Beauty looks scary to do, but lovely. I've never done curves. Yeah, so I think that's probably the yeah, the hardest. Nah, I, thought, I thought maybe selecting my color, my colors would probably was the hardest part. The curves are challenging, but they're not hard to do. Mm -hmm. And when you have the right tools, you fly through it. All right? So I'm not even going to lie to you. I don't freehand curves. I'm gonna do it. I use tools, all right? They make a tool to do it. I'm using the tool. <laughs> uh, what is that? What, one of the one of the commandants of the Marine Corps. He, he said, "Work smarter, not harder." Mm -hmm. And I live by that in my quilt room. Smarter, not harder. Somebody created a way for you to do it easier. Do it easier. Okay. All right. There you go. All, all right. right. So. So the reason why we're here today is to talk about the emotional block. All right, so 
there are times when I need to come in here and spend time with myself and not be quilting. Um, it's pretty much uh, a way for me to get into the craft that I love and pour something into it emotionally. Um, so what I do is I piece together crumbs, right? And how I get these is in here. I don't throw, I don't, I don't throw much away, okay? So this is where all my spares and my crumbs and everything go in this bucket right here. And I keep it close by because this is what I built my crumb, my emotional blocks from. Well, wow, that sounds pretty heavy, huh? That's heavy. All right, so there's no rhyme or reason to how I make it. When I want to get lost in my, my favorite craft or what I love to do, I just come in and build them, all right? So then what I'll do is I'll build a piece, and then I'll cut it down. All right, so not like last week, okay? This is an <laughs> Omnigrid six and a half inch template. And this is what I cut everything off of, six and a half inches. I don't know why I use six and a half. I could probably go larger. I could probably use this. This is the Omnigrid nine and a half, right? There's a front and back. I could use that, but... Uh, I don't know why I don't. I just, it's just what I do. You like the small one. I like the small one. Mm -hmm. All right. And then when I cut them, this is what I'll have. I'll have, like, they're just, they just go on for days and days and days. All right. And then I'll eventually put them on a quilt. Um, there's like two quilts that I've ever created using my emotional block because I'm kind of attached to these a little bit. Um, but I do use them. I will use them. Okay, my wife has one and my dad has one. So. All right, let me see what y'all are saying out here. Um, Cassie B says, you influenced me greatly in the purchase of my brother machine. Thank you so very much. No worries. No worries. It's a great machine. So, all right, the truth behind the brother. When I first started quilting, me and my wife were going to every pawn shop and grabbing them. <laughs> every. Good every. Girl. Goodwill, every sewing machine they had. And, and we started off, the very first one was a brother, or the Ken one. It was a brother. And, um... Oh, hold on, sorry. What? This is a very good point. Sharon Wilson said, you are making ordering, order of chaos when you crumb quilt. Oh. So, like, the chaos that may be going on in your mind, uh -huh. crumbs kind of, like, make bring it together. Bring order. I, I like that. I didn't think about it I like that. I like that. So, anyway, we were buying, like, sewing machines out there. I mean, they must have thought we were nuts because we were have we had every sewing machine there was. The very first quilt that I built for my grandson um, was, uh, I think it was a Kenmore. And I got, we got it from a pawn shop. So anyway, at the pawn shop, they had like Kenmores and Brothers. They had a, quite a few machines, but I didn't know anything about sewing machines. I just wanted to build a quilt. So I went, I dove head first. For Jax. Yep, for it. Jax, my grandson. And... Um, later on, I started learning about machines, started studying up on machines, and the Juki. I was in love with the Juki. Juki has the same model as a brother. It almost has, I think it's a 15, I think it's a 1500 too, I think. Anyway, I was just enamored with Juki because Juki's in the sweatshops. Don't, don't try to figure it out. It's just, yeah. they mass produce clothes, and mat clothes are mass produced in, in, in sweatshops in India and in these places that are pretty bad, but bad conditions for human beings to be working in. But the one thing they all had was a juki. Mm -hmm. And I figured if their a juki's that good, then I was gonna get one. Mm -hmm. But my wife, my wife found the brother. She got me the brother. No, I didn't find the brother. I just said, let me go on Amazon and see what's in his wants. And that's how I found. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I had, I had the Juki in there, and it had the brother. But the Juki's like $900 million in your left toe. Yeah. And the brother isn't. Yeah. So and, gonna, yeah, he's getting the brother. Yeah. So we got the brother. I fell in love. This bro, this thing is sick. I take care of it. I break it down. Every quilt, after I get done with the quilt, I break it completely down. I oil it. I build it back up and get it ready for the next quilt. New needles, new everything. All right? I said I take care of my, my stuff. Oh, there's all right? a bunch of brother lovers on here. Brother makes, you know. Love my brother over any other. <laughs> 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 brother makes great stuff. Oh, and Kathy B says, she says, me too. I was on the fence with the Juki. Yeah. 
And the I, the the determining factor was the price of the juki, really, mm -hmm. honestly. Um, the brother is great. I have had no problems out of this thing. Every now and then, um, I have bad thread in it, and it'll let me know. You know, you, you're in tune with your machine. You know when something's going wrong, and you know exactly where to go to figure it out. Okay. So, but I love this uh, machine. Joe Bab says I'm seriously looking at the Juki 2010 QI. The speed control governor is what's appealing to to me when FM queuing. See now that's it. That now free motion quilting. I mean, I'm sure that's something to look into. Mm -hmm. Hence me not wanting to use mine for free motion. I want to use my brother for what I intentionally use for it for. Priscilla says, I'm, I'm a Faf fan. I hope I said that right. Faf? Yeah. Faf? Faf? I think it's Faf. Mine is named Franny Faf. <laughs> now, Faf has a great mid-arm that I like. Mm. They have a great mid-arm. And it has um, stitch regulation, too, the Faf. Mm. Faf was in the top three top three final list of mid-arms. Well, you see how big his eyes get? Okay. No, no, no. I'm serious. But that Fop is really, that's a nice machine. They make good, there people out there making great stuff. Ooh, Divya. Divya Johnson says, my first one machine was a 1927 white knee pedal in a cabinet brought from an elderly lady at her yard sale over wow. 20 years ago. Now, hey, so look, I'm going to be honest with you. There are some old school machines that I see, and as I'm like, man, I, would, matter of I fact, would love to try that. Mommy look, has one at her house. The one we're going, cat, 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 cat. <laughs> I, I want to try one of those. Look, I remember um, my mom used to sew, and she, um, on this big black sewing machine, and she's, I think she still has it. probably sing. And she made a dress for me, <laughs> but she made it out of, like, curtain material. <laughs> And so I had to like model this dress at some fashion show. I was so itchy. <laughs> like, mom, that's you, that, that's I was the machine she made Trace's uh, chili. <laughs> <laughs> that's another story. <laughs> we'll have to tell that another okay, time. Okay, baby, we supposed to be quoting along. <laughs> okay, so look. So what I do is I'll reach in my bucket, all right? Now just grab some fabric. Now, all right, guys, you're gonna have to be ready because this is gonna make your table like completely messy. Messy. All right, while you're doing that, I'm gonna see. Um, I have a brother. Can they can they see down here, babe? Where I'm getting another one. They can see the table. Okay. Yeah. All right, so I'll just grab a piece, something that I'll I'll start with. It doesn't matter what it is. All right, and then I just start attaching fabric to it. Okay. All right, so let's put these two together. Practically Creative says, I've FMQ'd on a Brother FQ9185 domestic, not a quilting machine. I also have a Baby Lock Jazz with a 12-inch stroke. Ooh, Baby I've Lock. I've done a little FMQ on it, and it's nice, but I like the Juki better. Sheila says, love my brother Inovis. Inovis? Yes. I can embroider and quilt, but my favorite is a vintage single 301. All right, let me make sure y'all can see. All right, so... I'm just putting fabric together. That's all I'm doing because the, 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 the fun stuff comes later. There's no, no rhyme or reason of what I'm grabbing or why I'm attaching it. Your quilt room, your rules, right? Yeah. All right, so I'll start getting into this and then... So here's a nice piece too. Let's... Can y'all see that? Let me make sure that oh, I can get a little closer. Hi, Auntie Ann. Good morning to you. It's afternoon here. We wanted to come on earlier so that we didn't interfere with dinner for anyone. Yeah. All right, let me see what y'all were saying. All right, so let's just put some, some pieces together. Vivia says, now I now have a 1950-ish in the cabinet, a singer in the cabinet. I'm not sure how old, but I have a lot of older machines, too many. Is there such a thing as too many machines? Uh, no, because yeah. we had quite a few and we, we gave them away to people who were yeah, starting out true. quilting. That's very true. You know, we were finding machines at um, Goodwill. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we were just like, I mean, for $16 or $20, make a great first machine for somebody. Yeah. So, the size of the pieces doesn't matter to me. Now, look, sometimes I'll, I'll put a piece down across the middle, right, or across without being along the edge and just sew and then cut it off. It doesn't really matter to me. Teresa has three baby locks. Matter of fact, she said her kids did good for her. She has a, a quilt room at each house. 
Wow. Yeah, you I got know. multiple quilt marks? They should be good to you. That's, That's what right. children you are supposed to do. That's right. You deserve. You took care of them. Now it's time for them to take care of you. Okay, let's open this up here. Right. Okay, so you see how this is starting to square out a little bit? Don't worry. It's not going to be... Square? Nope. Those look normally bigger than what you would normally work with. Yeah, they usually are. I usually, I'll, I'll work with smaller pieces, too. Mm -hmm. But and I just absolutely really love See, look my, at this. I'll just put that together. I love my quilt. Like I said, I don't break it out very often because the dogs want to be on it. The one thing I will not allow them to do is be on that quilt. Is be on my quilt. Baby, you got 174 people wow. visiting with us today. That's cool. Aw, Pi says you two are lovely together with a whole bunch of hearts. Aw. Aw, look at that. So, look at how that, that looks like. He's just putting, but don't worry, look. So this is what I'll do. Something like this, see how it's like big? I don't like them like really, really big like that. So I'm just going to cut it. I don't care. There's no rhyme or reason. I'll cut it. I'll save this one for later, right? Mm -hmm. Then I'll start attaching something else to it. Um. So Imogene I'm Thomas says, I bought my PQ 1500 after watching the quilt on my <laughs> Oh, thank you. <laughs> Practically Creative says, by the way, hi all, sorry for just jumping in today. No, oh, no worries. Never late, always. No, never late worry, all time. never worry. So she has, Teresa has three baby locks. Wow. One sewing, two sewing embroidery, and a regal, regalia baby lock. A regalia, yeah, yeah, I know what that is. Nice machine. And remember, at times older is often better. That refers to people as well as still sewing <laughs> I know, Priscilla. That's we all very, seasoned that's, up. Huh? That's very true. Very seasoned. True. That's how I like to look at it. <laughs> okay, so Marilyn wants to know the name on the iron. This that's is a Panasonic, right, babe? Panasonic. It's a Panasonic N I W L W L six zero two. Yeah, that was, that was a gift also from Create, oh boy, Brewer Soul Quilt and Create. <laughs> yeah, say that again. I know, say that five times, five times real, fast. real fast. Seasoned and wise, that's right, Joe Babs, seasoned and wise. <laughs> Hi, Margie Ryan. Margie, how are you? How are you? I think we missed you on the live yesterday with Trace and Bill over at Mindless Crafting. Hope you're doing well. Um, let's see. Maybe okay, so I have like a few pieces on here. So and John and Kelly say. I'm just going to well, cut this. Kelly. The cut. first machine I ever used was my mom's Singer 237, 70s model. I also have her her mom's Singer 66. Wow. Ooh. Look, I'll use anything and everything. And nothing. I, yeah, you know what I love about them is that there's no two that are the same. Everything is 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 original. No one else will ever have. So this is like the first time I've ever shown. No, yeah, that and like done it while people or uh, there's someone watching or knowing that I'm doing it. Do you feel kind of, some kind of way? No, it just feels a little different to me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm usually alone with my thoughts. Aww. Okay, so let's just start putting this together, right? No rhyme or reason. I just put them together and I'll just cut because I need straight lines sometimes. So I just cut a straight line there. See that little piece? Now I'm going to find something to put on there. There's an old piece of a quilt. Let's go ahead and let's throw this on. Now let's find something else. Hold on, let's see what else we have here. Marty, right. you're never late, girl. You're never late. Thanks, Tyler. He said, don't forget the thumbs up. Right, Sabia says, I love watching you two together. <laughs> yeah, he's my he's my hero, I have to say. Baby. Ah, oh, baby, I'm just telling it like it is, you know. Baby. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, hi, Bertha Bless Wilson. Hello, Pitt Marine and wife. Hello. Sunday box of colorful chocolates, says Chocolate Treat. So nice to see you again, right? Okay, I paid 65 <sighs> dinars? Dinars. Dinars, okay, for my basic brother machine. Must be six years ago. I make quilts and quilt them on this machine, and I also make bags. 
It's a great little machine. I would love a Bernina. Ooh. Oh, you and I both. That Welcome to the club. That was Drina Murphy. Drina, you just hit a nerve with that yeah, one. Yeah, please don't bring up Bernina. I don't like that. I, yeah, I want a Bernina, but yeah. Financing Ooh. financing the, the, the lifestyle is different from. Yeah. All things in due time, baby. All yeah. things in due time. anything fancy good machines fabric or tools doesn't stop me from cooking that's right Jamie. that's right hey, when, there's a will, there's yeah. a way. when there's a will there's a way and there's always a will all right maggie raymer says love everything about this quilting style yeah it's uh as some will call it crumbs but i i know what it means for him so i, I actually can't believe he's sharing it all right so it's just pieces. I just throw the pieces together. Some are small, some are large. But when I have like little ones like this, like you can barely see, I'll start off with these little and I'll stay little. I'll stay little, stay little, stay little till it gets big and then I'll cut it down. Okay? So you see, look at that. That, I don't, that looks like what? what, what where's she going? But <laughs> I'll just cut it. I'll cut it. See what I just did? I just cut it. And then I'll just go on there from there. Look at this blue strip. I'm just going to throw that on. Why not? Ooh, Rita says, the first quilt I made was on a Kenmore. I have eight machines in my sewing room. Mm. Okay, I'm assuming that each one serves its own purpose, huh? Wow, that's I'm a sure. lot of machines. You know what? Let's see who has the most machines. Does anyone have more than eight machines? I want to see the, the answer to that. So that's like, that's like the good old, why do you need more than one gun? <laughs> because I want to have more than one gun. Oh, Margie says life has been getting in my way. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. We're going to pray on that one, Margie. And so 65 dinars is about $135. Not bad. Not bad. Hey, yes, Shannon. Shannon over there doing dishes. <laughs> but she wanted to say, hey. That means dishes mean that there was food, huh? Mm, what did we eat? Oh, boy. Here we go. What did we eat? Rita says four more, including a long arm in other rooms. Good. Wow. Gracious, Rita. A long arm. Sheesh. That's a lot. So, you just keep adding and adding and adding. So, what I do is I add and I cut. I add and I cut. I mean, everything's off of other quilts or, you know, this fabric that's laying around. Navia says, I'm searching for more of your favorite fabric I sent you. When you get the chance, read me the numbers from the salvage. Okay. <laughs> it sounds like a plan to me. <laughs> Nothing more comforting than a scrappy quilt. Hello from, from Maine, says Jennifer. Jennifer. Teresa said, Yvonne, our husbands should always be our heroes. Yep, that's very true. Hi, Kenneth. Kenneth is from Lexington, Kentucky. Hey, Kenneth. Jim says he finds uh, crumb blocks relaxing. No pattern, very free. That's yes. right. Hi, Lisa. She says, love, love, love you folks. Hello from Mobile, Alabama. Starting Started quilting because it's only fabric, only thread. <laughs> <laughs> Leela Joe Texas. Baby from Virginia Beach, Virginia. I inherited a Viking and a brother in the oh, Viking. 1500s for my and for my birthday in January. My lovely husband bought me a singer, heavy duty. Go figure. Nice. All right, let's see. I'm searching for my okay. Has anyone used the Accu Quilt Crazy Quilt guy before? Says Jackie D. Oh, the die cutter? Is it the die cutter? Mm -hmm. That's what we have, right? We have a die cutter. But we haven't, I haven't used it. Yeah, I see. I see. Has anyone used that act um, I quilt? Not know. yet. I have one, but I haven't used it yet. Marjorie said, picture is kind of fuzzy, is it? Uh oh. Maybe I'm moving around too much. 
Um, Alright, so we have a piece here, right? So I'm just going to cut it in half. I'll just go like that because I don't care because I mm. want to just make it my own. I don't know why I'll grab funny. this and I'll put it on. Why not, right? I'm not sure why. Why it's fuzzy. Okay, picture is here. Okay, it's clear here. Okay, thanks y'all for the feedback. Okay, so what I do is I try to get it big. Big enough to fit my my ruler inside of my six and a half inch ruler. All right. So then what I do is come in a little closer. All right. All you need to quilt is a straight stitch. That's right. Teresa. That's it. That, and that's what I that's what I was going for with either the Juki or the Brothers is a straight stitch because I had a machine. But that was a machine, that was a brother too that had like 99 different stitches and I never needed any of them. I didn't mm -hmm. use not any mm -hmm. of those 99 different stitches. Mm -hmm. So I knew right there that all I needed was a straight stitch machine. So Kelly has, she only has three machines. She says, for now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you get the point, right? Machine. So what I do is I'll, I'll, I'll keep adding and adding and adding and then eventually I'll have a piece like this, right? So then I'll put this piece down, okay? And then what I'll do is I'll get my trusty, dusty, omnigrid, six and a half inch template. And then I just cut my squares out, right? So sometimes, sometimes you'll see, see that seam right there? Sometimes you'll see that seam when it's big like this. But the way I try to angle my trusty, dusty, six and a half inch omnigrid, I'm sorry, right here. Mm -hmm. Is, is so that the seam's not obvious, right? So I'll try to angle this so maybe that seam goes in the opposite direction, it's not vertical, or I'll only catch a piece of it, okay? So what I'll do is, let's see what we can do here. Lori says, I did little crumbs yesterday. I made flour and a butterfly. D. Tittle wants to know, do you sell salvages in your blocks too? So, I saw someone use all salvages before. It looked interesting with the names and the little fabric. No, I've never done that, but that sounds pretty cool. That does sound pretty cool, huh? That sounds pretty cool. Look at you, detail. Okay, let's cut this down. Drina says, um, practically creative. I am living in Bahrain. I order everything from the USA. Big K says, scrappy improv piecing rocks. Thanks for sharing. Donna Faye only has three. Only three, huh? Yeah, Look, we that's so nice. Out. I love that. Oh, that's nice. Right? So I'll cut these. Uh -huh. So now, like, now that I cut my seat, now look, this is what I do. So, see what happened to my big piece? So now what I'll do is, I'll finish off this edge right here. Let me cut this off right here. Right? What have we been working on? We've been working on this right here. Now let me... Let's, let's just go ahead and attach that to this. Why not, right? Look at that. Hold on, let's attach it, then I'll show it to you what I have here. All right, let me find my spot. Okay. Um, Maria says, I'm done with every machine. Debbie Baber says, hi, late to the party as usual. No, Debbie, right on time. No, no such thing as late here. Thank you for 194 y'all watching. Wow. I think that might be the most we've ever had, huh? Maybe? See, I just cut that. Yeah, I think so, baby. Look at that. I just oh, cut that I piece off. And, it, uh, and I try not to, like, get rid of, like, anything too small. Um. So now look at this. So now I have this one little leg right here, right? Oh, I'm sorry. I showed you the back side. I'm sorry. So this part obviously is not going to fit my six and a half inch on. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to cut it off, right? I'm going to cut it off. And then let's attach it to the piece that we just did. Mm. But look at that. See how it's rounded? How are you going to... No, we're not going to do that. So I'm going to lay it down. I'm going to make a straight edge on it. Mm. The only fabric is only thread, huh? Yep, it's on, yeah, that's where that comes in right now. Mimsy says, I have seven machines, and that includes one surger. Ooh, we have a serger. It's not mine. It's my daughter's, but... We have a surgery. Can't <laughs> <laughs> okay, you count that? Yeah. Kenneth has six door machines. 
Marianne says, only have two, la, la, la. Look, Marianne, you only have one. <laughs> you only got one. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with what we have in one, but... Ooh, Practically Creative says, I have more than eight working machines. I also collect older machines. Wow. wow. You use them all, Practically Creative? Hello, everyone, and yes, I have to admit, I have 11 machines. Mm. Eight that work. CJ tangles us. Wow. What? Where do y'all put all of these machines? Look at what look what we got. We started off with a few pieces. I added it to the cutoff ends. Now I have another block to cut, right? Nice. The six and a half will definitely fit on that, right? So let's put it on here. Center it up. Lori T says, I got my Right, so we're gonna use the road we're gonna use a rotating mat. I know you guys are like, hey, <laughs> hey, his thumbs are close. Hey! Right, we're gonna use a rotating mat, okay? <laughs> All right, we'll cut that side. Let's rotate our mat. Let's congratulate Lori. She got her first machine in August. All right, Lori. Yay, Lori. Welcome to the club. And then we have Linda Hill Adams who says, yes, I have 13, some from my mom and the rest from the thrift store. Wow. Wow. I'm just trying to get my second. <laughs> <laughs> well, my second is going to be a doozy because it's going to be a mid on. I want a mid on. I'm getting a mid on. We're going to get him that mid on. You're rotating, baby? I'm rotating. Oh, I never that. rotate, but I'm rotating. Oh, look at that. you're rotating. That's not bad. That's not bad. Looks kind of nice, huh? Yeah, that's not bad. Um, look at that piece. Man, I, I could do this all day. And I have. So My wife has been like, uh, you want to eat today? <laughs> but I, look, I love it. I love it. So, on the New York Beauty, I have some great fabrics we're going to be using. I have some great colors, but I think I'm going to mix in a couple of emotional blocks in there. Ooh. I'm going to probably put a couple together. We're going to probably cut some into the, the um, New York Beauty somehow. Ooh. All right, so we still have this part right here, right? So we're just going to go ahead and square off. I love it when a plan comes together. What, what TV series is that from? I love it when what? Plan come, when a good plan comes together. Well, you know I probably don't know. You're not rotating, baby. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me rotate. Does it make the fabric move? Is that why you don't you choose not to rotate? Well, use I have on um, these non skids on the, on the back of my um, ruler, but you know if you rotate, then you don't have to put your hands in awkward directions, and the blade doesn't have to go in, in weird places. No, exactly. Okay. Very nice though, baby. I'm always enamored, even you know. So I because every time I look at my quilt, I'm like. Looking at all the different So these, these blocks, I'm sure, would be really great to put on our chemo. Uh, a chemo quilt? A chemo quilt. Yeah, so you're looking. Button, yeah, you're paying, oh, you're, yeah, yeah, something you're, else while you're paying you're attention to the block and not what's going on in your treatment. That's a really good idea. Oh, wow. Okay, so we have this right here, right? So this is what's left. So let's, let's get enough in there to get another cut, another block out of it. Okay, so let's cut this straight We got off. Rose from West Virginia in the high yellow. West Virginia. So June has four machines, two are Viking, and the other two are just something from Walmart. I, now, Viking makes, Viking has a mid-arm too. I think they're under, I'm not sure, but I think they might be, their machine might be in cahoots with someone else. So I'm not sure, but I know who Viking is. So Donna Faye says, if mid-arm counts, I have Handy Quilter Sweet 16. Wasn't that one of the ones? That was the very, very first mid-arm that I fell in love with. And you know what? The only reason why I didn't mention it to the wife is because it said Sweet 16 on the side. <laughs> but I didn't know that it referred to the throat. That's how big the throat was. At the time, I was so new to quilting, I was like, Sweet 16? No, that's not for me. <laughs> but I, I, I didn't know any better. But I know better now. But also, if it's sweet sixteen came to this house, it would get sweet. <laughs> it would get sweet cameled up. Rita says four in my sewing room are friends. We get together once a month to quilt together. Oh, two of the others are ones people gave me to fix and find good homes for. Oh, that's good. Oh, so you fix machines. Finding also. homes for quilt for, for our machines is a great thing. Look. So some of the machines that we had, when we had a few, uh, uh, quite a few, we gave to people who, who are starting off quilting or mm -hmm. needed a machine. As a matter of fact, that, um, what was that machine? 
machine that you had that we... It was the one before this brother that you had. The Kenmore. Was it the Kenmore? It was the Kenmore. Before yeah. the brother? Yeah, I think it was, it was a camera movie. Okay. Um, okay. That was a uh, yeah, that went pawn shop. The pawn shop one. The pawn shop. Bertha, um, Bertha Bless Wilson said, Yvonne, do you sew? I sure do not. <laughs> Look, I, not. Stay, I stay in my lane. Neither do I. I don't sew either. You don't sew? I quilt. <laughs> there is a difference. I do not. No, this is his, you know, this is his. You you do your cross stitching, no bad. I do, but since, you know, my vision is not as good as I would like it to be anymore, it gets a little challenging, but um, I definitely want to pick up the cross stitching and embroidery. I want to try the embroidery that um, Shannon sent me, but my vision just isn't what it used to be. You know, as we get more seasoned. <laughs> yeah. Hey, your vision is great. You're still allowing me to come in the house. Your vision is really good. <laughs> Deb says she has three, a baby lock, Catherine, and two genomies. I said that right, right? Genomies? Genomie? Okay, yeah. okay. Teresa says my regalia is a long arm just Regalia now. is nice. That's a nice one. some classes to use the... Yeah. So right. what's Jake using right now, Teresa? Jake, that is the, her grandson, right? Jake, that's his name? Yeah, Jake. Okay. Giovanna has five. One very old... Uh, the Bernina, then a tiny one for crafts, and two are over overlocking. I just got here. What is he doing? Hey, Kathy Urban! He's making emotional blocks. An emotion block. This is how he... Uh, oh, let me rotate. <laughs> this is how it's hard. He, uh, that's, that's a hard habit to uh, break right there. Brings himself back together. Is yeah, so in my, in, in my job... We deal with a lot of death. There's a lot of death in what I do. The only ones who deal with more are the police, fire, and the coroner who comes to pick these people up. So this weekend has was pretty rough. A lot of death on the highway. And when I need to deal with it, when I'm re when I'm re aligning yourself. Yeah, realigning myself, I come in and I build my emotional box. Okay, look at that one. All right, so I could do this all day yeah. long, There's and I have. Look, so out of that big piece and that little piece that we 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 had, we put four of these things together. Look at that. Right, and this is what I do. I mean, I, I love doing this. When it's when I I do this, this is like not quilting to me. This is just me being me one, getting back on the line you with the rest with of uh, the world. With uh, material, uh, yeah, fabric yeah. and thread. Yeah, so that's what I do. I do that, and that's how I do my um, emotional block. You would call it, I guess. June says I have a mid arm from Viking and an uh, epic. Love them both. An Dream. epic. I've never uh, epic. I've never heard of that one before. Drina Murphy says she came. I can't. I came here twenty one years ago, and I just forgot to leave. That's Bahrain. Hmm. So, yeah, it's good to always have a backup. That's true. I have a backup machine just in case. That's actually very true. Good That's point, true. Marianne. Mm -hmm. Very true. So, Sharon says, I'm on a quilt made with leftover fabric from my daughter's clothing. So comforting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, clothes make, I mean, this fabric. Yeah, I've made, I made, the tough guy quilt was made out of, um, what was that, flannel shirts and... And jeans. And jeans, mm -hmm. yeah. All funded by Goodwill. All funded mm -hmm. by Goodwill. Um, Cheryl Ann says she has five, I mean nine machines, one of them being an antique toy, three being machines that belong to my family. A treadle, oh wow, a singer in a Brentwood case, and my modern machines and a surgeon. Wow. wow. I wonder, does everyone name their, their um, machine? <laughs> Now that would be good to know. It would be cool to do this and make a tote or fabric basket for your room. I have AccuQuilt, but I have not used that block. Mimsy says, I have a brother scan and cut on my wish list. Laugh out loud. Um, pictures of it. It's clear. Drina. I follow a couple of vloggers from the area of the world. It looks beautiful. Bahrain. 
Hey guys, I enjoy your channel. Just finished my first quilt for my daughter. Nice. My kids bought me a singer tradition just out of the blue. They said it was a thank you for being a great dad. Chip Lane. Go ahead, Chip. All right, Chip. All right, man. That's what I'm, I'm talking about. Deborah Davidson says she uses a brother and loves it. Mita, slightly out of focus for me, too. Is it? Is, is it, is it because right I'm right moving? Now? It might be because I'm moving. Okay. Uh, I'll stand. I'll stand still. I love freestyle piecing. Marlene says. So relaxing, man. It's like even right now, like I've almost forgot that I'm almost <laughs> leaving you guys are in the room. I can like. Well, that's it. good. So Kelly says I actually enjoy hand sewing some stuff. If it is one, I don't mind it taking a while. Oh, Virginia Lau says watching key quilts yesterday, and she had a, the Aki quilt. Hi from Montreal. Hey, Mich mm, Michelle. I don't want to mess that up. <laughs> so Deb says, Mark, you would love the Aki quilt for strips. Hello, Mark. Huh? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? Deb McAdams <laughs> said, you would love the Aki quilt for well, strips. Oh, uh, that, so that's the thing where that's the the die cutter, right or no? Um, I guess. I don't know. Hi, Minus Crafting is on. Hi, Troy. Minus Crafting. We were on the live with them yesterday. Hilarious. But I'm, my sister is amazingly talented. She yes, can, she is. She can pull a card out of the yeah. out of the air. Uh, out of she, thin air? <laughs> out of obviously, thin air. I didn't get that talent. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, she's amazing. Her and Bill. They have a great channel. They do. Mine is crafting. Let's cut this. Let's make an angle here. Boy, I lost the box. So the hard thing about this is like, you know, I kind of want to have straight edges a little bit so I can add to them. When they're bent or like when they're not going the right way, I'll just straighten them out. Because when you add stuff, when I'm adding stuff, I don't want to... Baby, 211 people. Oh, wow. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Am, I, am I zoning out over here? Should I stop? I should stop. Wait, hold should on. Should you stop or should these you are, keep going? These are hard to stop, though. Okay, stop. Boy, stop. Oh, I'm, I'm like messing up. Uh. Oh, I, I wasn't supposed to move, huh? Because of the, uh, the haziness. During the pandemic, a teacher requested quilts for her students for Christmas. I sold them to her for $5 a piece. They were all different. Oh. All at... Least twin size. Wow, Vivia, that's, wow, that's, that's awesome. That's pretty. That's huge. So I, I want the brother Stanley cut to make a double wedding ring quilt. That's we've had oh, that. Oh yeah, the double wedding one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Need help with all the cutting. Oh, it's a lot of cutting. I yeah. imagine. Okay, so yes, the Aki quilt is a die cutter. Mm -hmm. I have a studio and it's fabulous, but I would buy the big go. Now it's electric. Michi is pronounced Mickey. Okay. I'm so jealous. I want a Juki. I make oh. so many charity quilts. I kill plastic machines every two years, says D. <laughs> <laughs> kill them all. <laughs> Maggie Reimer says, look so meditative. What are you doing? I love your process. Bibble Creations. Hi, Bibble. Hi. Victoria M. says, I'm a beginner and I'm using an old singer my neighbor lent me. Totally addicted now. Mm, good. That's a good thing. Some Ray. addictions are really good to have. <laughs> Raised by Wolf. There's very few, but there's some are really good. <laughs> Raised by Wolf says, I have a singer that needs work and I bought a Juki F600 this past summer. I love, love, love the Juki. The Juki is, I'm telling you, that Juki. Mm-mm. If I was to get another machine to piece with, it would definitely be, my next one would definitely be a machine. I mean, <laughs> not a machine, a Juki. <laughs> oh, so people do name their, their machines. Oh, they do. So D says, yes, my first featherweight is named Ipaka, the Wicked Witch. <laughs> <laughs> Lori says, don't name my machine, it's just a singer. CJ Tangle Jeff says, I love the way you do the crumb construction. I was scared to plan a crumb quilt. Ha ha. Looks like I was way over planning. Yes, you were. Just let it let it go. Just yep. let it go. Yep. It's only fabric and it's only thread. 
Auntie Ann says, what a beautiful way to process grief and loss. All those blocks are touched by angels. Mm. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. I so name my machines. My main quilting machine is Godzilla. <laughs> Cheryl, that's cute. <laughs> Navia says, my backup has a backup and a backup. <laughs> To see somebody, you know, hit by a car going yeah. 75 miles an hour on the highway. Yeah, that's. Wear your seatbelts, please, everybody. Yeah. Please wear your seatbelt. I was not a seatbelt wearer until I started do, started this job. I, I wear it religiously now. So, Sheila says, how do you put the blocks together in the top? Huh? Oh, on a quilt top? Yeah. Oh, so should I go get mine? Yeah. I'll go get mine. So it was a shadow block was the last time. And the other one for my old man, for my dad was this. Um um I I outlined each block in black and then just put them together and then threw them on a quilt. So there's only two that have been done. Um one was a shadow block and one was just one that I put together for my dad. And the next one will uh, I'll probably use some on the New York Beauty. So this was the shadow block one that we that we made for my wife. And that fabric, that red, came from Anitra. This is Anitra's fabric yeah, that she sent. Yeah, and that thing just whoo, he set my quilt off. I love, love, love that quilt. All right, so and it's back with softy, soft, fluffy, fuff, or what? What would you call it, babe? Uh, uh, Fleece? Fleece. I love using fleece for a backing. I like functional quilts. Sharon Wilson says, my favorite quilt. Yeah, that's my favorite too. Look, my son had been trying to get, like, let me just hold it and fill mine. Is, no, no, I can't do that. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's going to get the that. New York Beauty that we did. We're going to give him that one. I love, love, love that quilt. Two hundred and seventeen people. Wow, that's the most. Is it? Man, that's thank y'all for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much, everybody. Okay, okay. I lost my spot, so ooh, I'm sorry if I haven't <laughs> been keeping up, baby. I know. So Kathy B says, "Our name mine is Isabella. Some days she is Bella, some days she is Izzy." Okay. I like those names. This week, it was people getting shot in their cars. One was at the exit by my house, Suburban Hill Village. Yeah, that's been yeah, happening a that's lot. What, that's, yeah, yeah that's, what's, that's what's been going on here a lot in Georgia. <laughs> Marianne said, D. Huffman, awesome. Just say no to plastic. <laughs> Slaying a plastic machine. This is plastic. Well, it has a plastic cover. Diane Cook says, I make lap size quilts for a foundation. My husband and I started for hospice animals at our vet. Hospice animals? Have tons of scraps. I've and never heard of that looks before. looks like a perfect way to use them up. Thanks for all you show us. No worries. This is what hospice I love. Hospice animals. I'm going to have to look that up. I'm going to have to look that up. You may know have, animals. You may, have, may have to donate to them. But. Dogs are near and dear to my heart. Yes. If there's a dog that's a stray out there, he's oh. gonna find her. <laughs> Strays find my wife. It's like they wait around the corner. Here she comes. <laughs> then they just come cruising out in a row because they know my wife's gonna stop every time. I was coming home from work one day and there was this dog in the middle of the road and people were just flying by, flying by, and I just could not do it. I stopped my little red truck in the middle <laughs> of the road. I flagged down traffic. It was like a halt. And I um, took the dog, put him in the truck, pulled over to the side of the road, called Animal Shelter. They said it was going to take him about an hour to get there. So I'm feeding this dog lunch in my truck until Animal Control got there. And luckily, he was chipped. So they were going to find him his way home. But My wife's out there like a hero operator waving down traffic. Yeah. Sure. Otherwise, we'd have probably had another dog because I just can't. They're just so, oh my gosh, their spirits are just, 
amazing. Anywho, I digress. <laughs> no, you don't. You're on point, baby. You're on point. <laughs> Look, practically creative says my sister is a stray dog magnet. <laughs> <laughs> Give her a high five for me, cause that yeah. is me. My wife will find it. If it's a stray dog, it's gonna find its way. Margie out. says she's just like that. Okay, we got a bunch of dogs. That's really good. I it makes my heart smile to know that people are not just out here being mean to dogs. Yeah. Rebecca. Hey, Rebecca. She says she has 12 working machines, five industrial, two trailers, one waiting for a trailer, but it does have a motor and works and various others. All right, so then, then she can answer her question then. Uh -huh. Industrial machines, what's the benefit of having an, an industrial machine in your home? Like belting out, probably, belting out probably like the speed, right? Them things probably haul like Ferraris. All right, Rebecca, that question has been put to you. Yeah, because I want to... I, I, because there was an industrial machine that I had looked at. It was a Juki, too. And uh, it looked basic. Pedal and go. That was it. And I thought maybe they, the, the advantage of an industrial machine was just the speed, right? For mass production. Let me, see. let me plug it in so we don't lose. Okay, let me see if she's answered. Um, not yet. Suburb Suburban Hillbilly said they find me too. That's how I ended up in rescue for over 20 years. You know what? I don't think I could work in rescue because my heart would break and I would be Yeah. I would just be a dog lady with yeah. a whole bunch of dogs everywhere. Yeah, right. Deborah Deborah Fenora says I bundle up my old dog in my quilt. They can have every other quilt in the house, but they cannot. <laughs> Every other quilt, I'm fine with. That's why, yeah, that's why we're doing the um, pinwheel party quilt. Because yeah. all the quilts have been from them jumping on the exactly. bed, jumping off the bed. But I don't mind it. I'm not offended by it. You know? Yeah, but they cannot have my um, my shadow box. I'm sorry. No, yeah, that's where you draw the line, baby. That's where I draw the line. Love them to pieces, but that is it. My wife drew the line on that particular quilt. Um, my sewing machines are named Ricky, Ricard, <laughs> Mary, brother that belonged to BF, and Little Jimmy. That's a cheap starter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Linda says, Linda Hill Adams says, industry machines have great power, makes life easy. They just get the job done better and faster. Okay. I, I kind of thought maybe that was it. So Deb McCaskin says, Mark, does, the, does your brother have zigzags? No. No zigzags. He's a straight liner. So Sharon says, when I find their forever home, you cry with happiness. Uh, I can see, yeah. yeah. Karen says, um, industrial machines appear to have more power for, for thicker sewing. Many, however, only oh. have basic stitches, nothing decorative. Some yeah. don't ha even have zigzags. Okay, I can see that. Hens, oh, I'm going to read the comments. Sorry. I foster dogs and cats for shelter. I did a hospice dog. She was great. I am a foster failure, but I do adopt a lot of animals. Foster failure. <laughs> yeah. So Rebecca says, correction, add two more to my number. So it is 14. Ooh. I too have given many away. People would give them to me, and then I would meet someone who needed one, and out the door it went. The yes. ones I have, I am. I like that feeling, giving somebody a machine, yeah. and then they're, they turn into, like, mad quilters. Yeah. And I love that. And you love the craft. Yeah. Yes. You cannot beat that. Virginia Lyle says, my quilts all have dog hair, but I love them. Mm -hmm. We know that. We know that life. Yeah, but as soon as they come close, I'm like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> this is where mom draws the line. <laughs> You've gone too far now. <laughs> um, I keep looking at it because my arthritis is starting to make rotary cutters hard to use. Oh. I have a cricket, though, which should let me cut what I want. Okay. That's practically creative. Now let's try to get two out of this one piece here. We'll get some straight edge here. Oh, Sheila makes quilts for her own her her fur babies. She makes them their own quilts. Um, 
Yeah, that um, the pillow stuffing that I'm using and we're using for her and her and her uh, kennel. That's true. Um, hi Melissa, practically creative is Melissa. Nice to meet you. Hey hi, Melissa. Hi Bettina. So Deb's looking for a heavy duty zigzag and straight liner. Ooh. Hi, uh, damn it apparel. Those Hi, um, everyone. First time being able to catch a live with the time difference. Those heavy duties? Mm-hmm. They look really efficient. Like, yeah. they look like they would stand up and eat your kids if you didn't keep control of them. <laughs> Be sewing everything. Yeah, they sew everything. Right? <laughs> yeah. I have, a, I have a dent in the hood of my car. I would put it on one of those heavy duties. Those things are, they look pretty intimidating. Ricky Ricardo has straight stitch and zigzag only and metal. Ricky Ricardo, that's too cute. <laughs> I prefer the non-computer, just a straight stitch machine. Taught my sons to sew, and the youngest informed me that he just got a much better machine than mine. Lots of stitches. <laughs> His wife agreed. <laughs> <laughs> Chip says, that's so sad. We love them so much. It breaks your heart. They bless us with all your love. Pray to you both and your child. Yeah, you know, because... They uh, love you no matter. Yeah, they love you what? no matter. You know, because when we rescued um, Auntie... You know, I thought it would be a longer road than it was because, you know, she, she was... was very, she was very rough around. Very rough around the edges. She was very possessive. But and, she started um, to fall She started to fit into the fold. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and you could see it in her eyes. You know, she just she like, is in love. Oh, I love you. Yeah. Uh, and how can you not look in their eyes and be just completely alone? Yeah, I, blown I away. Mean, how can you not be blown away, right? Well, I don't see how people abuse dogs, don't take care of them. They have I think, souls yeah, just I think like the, we I do. think the laws protecting animals should be a lot stricter than they are. Yeah, that's true. Okay, let me see what y'all are saying, because we digress. Cause I, I'm, I'm rotating, babe. I'm rotating? actually rotating. Oh. Um, okay. Um. <laughs> Margie's like, I need to get a handle name. I thought we came up with a handle name for you last week, Margie. I can't remember what it is, but... I can't remember, but I think we came up with a name that I thought was super cute. <laughs> Rita says, I have many machines that I do give away when I see a need. I have a vintage singer 201 named Ringo Starr and a featherweight <laughs> named Twiggy. <laughs> That's funny. Do you have acne quilts? Let me see what that is. Um, yeah, we do. You do? Okay. Yeah. It's, um, it's, uh, is it in the closet? It's in the closet. <gasps> okay, so, I don't, I don't want to say the name, but. Get to Walmart clearance. Valentine's dog theme fat quarters are 10 cents each. Mm. Hey, I know I'm new. I asked two questions and neither got answered. I'm sorry because sometimes the comments are coming in. What's the question? I don't know. Let me see if I can go back and find your question. I apologize. So, Marsha Burton wants to know, do you use lace in your quilts? No. And let me see if I can find your other question. I did not mean to skip over anyone. I do try to read everything. There's no reason why I don't. I mean, no, I just don't. Oh, so Marsha is, um, she came over. I'm with Mindless Crafting with Tracy and Bill. They are wonderful, aren't they, Marsha? I didn't see the second question, so I apologize. Um... Karen says, dogs are worth saving and keeping. They're the most loyal animal. Yes, they are. I've always had rescues. Mm. You know what? Dillinger, well, well, everybody Dillinger except for Dill everybody but Dillinger and Daria are rescues. Yeah, yeah. They're, the rescues have have something special for us, too. Okay, so um, this is that, can you adjust the size you cut, or do you have to have a die for everything? Oh, uh, that's what the die cutter. Okay. Hopefully someone has answered that yeah, question. Yeah, let's hope that somebody has an answer to that. Linda Hill says, I named my machines because the, 
they feel like girlfriends. <laughs> One's named Louise, my mom's name, and the other one I use a lot is named Bestie because we agree on what I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's that's funny. We like this one. Mom, Miss Yvonne, we need to plan a quilting cruise for after the pandemic, huh? Ooh. A quilting cruise, huh? That sounds pretty cool. You know what? Look, my husband, he doth protest. This was, this was here we go. This was pre-pandemic. Here we go. And I was like, Betty, you I was wondering when this story was gonna come out. <laughs> I said, Betty, you need to try. Let's go on a cruise. Oh, no, 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 I'm not cruising. I spend time on a navy ship. Da da da. <laughs> la la la. You know. And so for his right, birthday, wait, wait, one, we have to verify this. <laughs> Okay, so the ship, I've been on ships, all right? They're, they're on. usually big, steel, gray exactly. ships. Exactly. Not the kind that serve the alcohol and yeah. have casinos. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. So when, for his birthday, um, he was And no, before you answer, ask the question, I don't get seasick. I'm amphibious. I am not, okay? Give me my seasick pills. So he was in Miami working, and um, I came down, and we were leaving to go on a cruise for his birthday. <laughs> And oh my goodness, my husband fell in love. <laughs> he fell in love with the cruise ship. So anyway, the only process he didn't like was the checking in. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think that's garbage. The food on those cruise ships. Look, you can gain, you can gain fifteen pounds easily. Easy. easy. So yes, he is uh, addicted. I had, I had a great time. <laughs> I'll be the first to admit I had a great time, and okay. I don't think I've ever slept. Anywhere in the world better than I have on a cruise ship. I have actually the best sleep in my life yeah. on a cruise ship. Yeah. It kind of just loves you to sleep, especially yes. when your your belly is full with yes. all of that good food. Yes. <sighs> great hamburgers. So that is a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. You have to put that one into motion. Um so, Suburban Hillbilly, I kept seven out of the thousands of fosters. Unfortunately, they have been passing away due to old age and oh, poor yeah. health. I have three left. I'll be giving my beagle back to God any day. Oh, my God. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. That's know, still you know, super fresh in my still mind. Still fresh with us, too. I miss my Dillinger every single day. Yeah. That's, a, that's a rough one. Yeah. Yeah, that one's, yeah. I look at his pictures all the time. Mm -hmm. Which does help, like, you know, when you see them when they're like, they were in their glory. Mm -hmm. and, oh, and he would jump for the water at the. Yeah, his the, uh, thing was the water hose. <laughs> that water hose came out, it doesn't matter what you're washing yeah. and using the hose for, he's going to get in. He was a great dog. Oh, Very my good. goodness. Um, okay, so let's see. Uh, I prefer the not. Okay, I read that already. Sorry, I'm going from bottom to top, so. Maybe he needs a water bed. The old ones, when you move your, <laughs> when you move, you rock. <laughs> Those water beds, not with four dogs. Mm -mm. That's all we need is water everywhere on the. Uh, mm. Yeah. We've already My parents had a water bed. I used to think that thing was so fun. We used to we experienced that with a fish tank, but we'll tell you that another time. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna go there. Uh, they're gonna be we, like, we yeah, you have, brought it up. <laughs> we used to have a Rottweiler who loved the water hose too. Oh yeah, that was his thing. But there was one time where um, Mello, you know, Mello's our bigger guy. Yeah. And, have they um, seen Mello before? I, I don't know. He's over here licking his paws, but Mello fell in the pool one time. Oh yeah. And Mello cannot cool. swim. Mello's not a, <laughs> and that's how we found out Mello could not swim. I jumped in a pool and I had my dogs follow me into the pool. And uh Mello volunteered without paws, but Mello didn't check his own credentials. And Mello went straight to the bottom of the pool. I'm like, Mark! So I come up to the surface. And I'm she is screaming, the... and I look down to see a brown spot, <laughs> and it's mellow at the bottom of the pool. 
<laughs> so to go down and get metal and pull him out the water. All like 80, because he's like 80, he's he's like 80 90 pounds. pounds now. Bro. 90 pounds, yeah. easy. And yeah, he got out of the pool and was like, oh yeah, I, I forgot to tell you. I didn't know how to swim. Where's he at? Oh, God. He's over there. Yeah. 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 Too funny. It was not funny at it the time. It was not funny at the time. Mellow sunk all the We can laugh about it now, but at the time. <laughs> he sunk all the way to the bottom. I came up and I'm like, why is she so panic stricken? <laughs> oh, it's because my dog doesn't know how to swim. Oh, it's like I'm rolling on the floor laughing. He didn't check his oak. <laughs> so, right, he's like, yeah, oh yeah. I was wondering, I always thought that maybe he thought that the pool was a glass table or something. I, I think because he saw you jump in, so he was just like, yeah. okay, I'm going. And, yeah. <laughs> you got me, mommy? You got me, right, mommy? No, he just jumps in. Oh. Mello stays away from the pool now. We yeah, Mello avoids water now. Yeah. And butterflies. <laughs> he learned how to sink. Yeah, <laughs> yes, he did. he did. Oh, my gosh, my side is in stitches right now. <laughs> Ah. Oh, mellow. Jumping in the pool. Water beds are great because they could be heated. Yeah, they're nice, but I don't think we could do them with four, with four dogs. Oh, I didn't know that the heat the water beds were heated. Yeah, you can heat them, yeah. But could you oh. imagine in the wintertime? Oh, oh man, God. I didn't know that. Jaded says, I'm overdue for another cruise. I want to see the northern lights, but Canada is closed, so no Alaska trip. Yeah, I got to wait for this pandemic thing to end before we even think about uh, we have not been vaccinated yet. We used to have a Rottweiler who loved the water hose too. That's wonderful. Men. I use hardboard and cut it to various size squares. They don't last forever, but cost a lot less than the acrylic templates. Use a, a self-adhesive hook in the middle of the square as a handle. Creative well, idea. It, putting it into the die cutter, right? Maybe mm -hmm. you need the water bed, the old ones. Maybe, okay. Um, finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. Baby, you all right over there? Yes. I love watching your videos. It's always so relaxing to watch. Yet to make a Oh, uh, you want Tiffany? Um. Uh, Tiffany's cloak. So something. Yeah. Tiffany. Uh, let me go look. Tiffany it. has, anyway, she has a video of her. She's a quilter. And Tiff. Tiffany's Quilt Life. I know something. Right? Yeah, uh -huh, Tiffany's Quilt it. Life. All right, if you go on her channel, she has a uh, video of her free motion quilting, a quilt, a quilt top. And it yeah, is Tiffany's so cool. relaxing. I've watched that video quite a few times. And I love watching that video. Her, her video is really great. I like that video. I mean, she has other great videos. I'm just saying, that video, this, I They're like relaxing, watching it. Huh? Yes. Dog swimming lessons, Missy. They have dog swimming lessons? They have dog swimming lessons? Man, I, like I would have never know. guessed that. I thought most dogs know how to swim, or no? No, because bulldogs can't swim. And neither can that, those. That's uh, a handicap of having a bulldog. What about those dogs that uh, have the curly, curly, curly hair? The, um, can they swim? Which ones? The ones. Um, their hair is curly and they're... <laughs> Baby, that's a lot of dogs. <laughs> With the long curly hair. The, uh, so the uh, so pooly? The pooly? The pooly is the one with the long black hair. curls. Yeah, I don't know. No, I just thought, assumed dogs knew how to swim. I, I, I watch people doing repetitive stuff when I wake up in the middle of the night. That's a good, yeah, because I do that. I wake up in the middle of the night all the time. I'm with you on that one, Melissa. Tiffany's awesome. Um, why can't she is. Swim? They have life jackets for dogs. Oh, yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah, they do. Afghan hounds is that what? Oh, Afghan hounds Afghans. is that what they call? Oh, I didn't know. Those, those no, Afghans are tall, they're tall and skinny. Are those ones that can't swim either? I can't think of the name of the dog, but it's got it's a pretty curly, you can't curly, swim. curly, long hair. But that's not a way to find out if your dog is swimming, is jumping in the pool and jumps in. I thought it was natural for maybe a pool noodle. <laughs> <laughs> we won't be trying that one. <laughs> Linda Sutton says, my first time getting to watch you live. Enjoy your videos. Looking forward to the New York Oh, thank start. you. Oh, we're going to start it. So, all right. So, I'm I'm, I'm going to keep doing this all day. And, yeah. All right. Yeah. So, look. I want to show you. I want to show you guys some of the fabrics we got for the New York video, okay? 
Look at these. Look, so we've been here how long? I've made one. We've been almost two, an hour and a half. Three. I'm loving four, that piecing you're working in. Those five, are and angles crazy nice. Six, seven. We made okay. seven blocks. Alright. So what I do is stack them up. And then I put them in the bag with the others. Okay. Wow. Here are the others. Let's put them in the bag. So, are you, you're, you, I know you said you're going to use some for the New York Beauty. I'm going to use some for New York Beauty. For New York Beauty. Are you I think. I, and if they fit. Man, look how, look how fat that is. That. Ooh, you got to start a new bag. Then. Yeah. I never All right, so heard of let me. Dog that couldn't swim. I mean, dog paddling, right? That's what I thought. No, dogs. There are dogs well, who cannot said swim. Somebody said dogs have. Hold on, wait. I, some dogs have solid bones and yeah. can't float. Yeah, that must be Mello because yeah. he's got no, solid. No, Mello doesn't have solid bones. Mello's got gristle. <laughs> huh, boo All right, so let me pull out some of the fabrics, okay? Oh, don't forget the numbers from the salvage. Okay. Uh, for your favorite favorite fabric. You know where that is? The paper no, hat? it's right here. Alright. So, we're going to be using this. We're going to be using this. Alright, these are two additions to what we showed before. We showed these last week, right there. Mm-hmm. Alright. So, we're going to be using this. This was a gift. We're going to be using that. That is so nice. That's like an effervescent, Look at this. right? Here's, this, here's the effervescence, yeah. Let's show the salvage edge. Can you see the salvage edge? Uh-huh. But what, we, what we're going to do is when the, he actually gets ready to start, we'll make sure we show everything. But this is my favorite. I love this fabric. BB is like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a hard one, guys. This is going to be hard to use because this is the one that you don't want to, you know? For me, this is the one that I don't want to use. I'm gonna show you the salvage edges, okay? Hold on. So, Life of Posey says, I I'm just... gonna have to go on. Um, who are the three brothers that have their. I forget their channel. They're the ones who have fabrics. They're, they show this. They have this fabric. I'm gonna buy their channel, okay? <laughs> this this fabric, I love this fabric, okay? We can't tell at all. Huh? We can't tell at all that you love this. Oh, fabric. man. <laughs> this is a great fabric. You All right, I'm going to show you guys. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to show the salvages. <laughs> Let, can I can I obsess? I want to obsess a little bit, okay? So, Life of Posey said, I just found your channel. I tried making a scrappy quilt a couple of years ago. I have a channel that teaches how to make dog dresses. Dog dresses? And I made a dog dress using the scrappy quilt method. A oh, dog wow. dress? Really? Brother, oh, this is a brother's... Okay, let, let me show you the salvage edge. Let me make sure the whole salvage is in there. Is the whole salvage in the shop there? Um, it's a little too late, but um, let me let, hold on. Let me make it a little bigger. Oh, ooh, the old bones there. Oh, I think you can see it, huh? Yes. Okay. This is a great fabric. We're gonna be using this, okay? My and I have this, and also it's in a teal, where the red is the a teal. We want to be using that too. Uh. And this was also a gift right here for the salvage yeah, that thing's going to be gorgeous. Yeah, uh, I'm using this. So Anitra says, my son says as he's listening to your lives that you two sound like you have a good marriage. Oh, yeah. We, we do. have the best marriage. Yeah, right? I, yeah, I have to say, I mean. I mean, we have our times when yeah. I'm on Amazon. Yeah, and I have to reel him in. Okay. But, but um, outside of that. Yeah, he's a, he's a great husband. Thumbs up, thumbs up. You know how considerate he is that, um, because this week I would be on call with my job, so he got off work on Friday morning and he started cooking so that I, we would not have to cook. No salvage edge. <gasps> so we wouldn't have to cook for the week. And so, you know, he had been cooking all weekend and I just thought that was just the sweetest thing because he knows how stressed I am when I'm on call. Week. Week. During, yeah. yeah, when you're on call. All right, okay. there's no salvage. <laughs> hey. Oh, we're gonna fight over the one bone, huh? Oh, wait, I'm gonna fold this up later. Okay, so, All right, so I have this see. also. Look at this, guys. So, yeah, that's what it's called. So, yeah. So, yeah. so I, I watched their channel, I think it was Thursday night. They were, they were on. And I, I they, were, they were doing, I don't know what they do exactly, but they're 
They're selling fabrics, I think, online, right? So we get through the channel. So <laughs> one of those guys pulls up this. Oh, it's a done as hell. You're gonna see quilting room, quilting room, quilting room, <laughs> quilting room, going scrolling up, okay? Marty's like, somebody find some of that fabric for him. I know he is like, oh my god. Okay, guys, look at this. This is gonna be a killer on a, on a New York Beauty. All right, look at this. So yes, he does have an acu quilter, an acu quilt, right? Cutter. Yeah, acu quilt. It's the acu quilt um, die cutter. He does have one. Look at that. He's never used it. I've never used it. Nope. Oh no, you have you have a go baby. Is what oh, it's a go baby. I'm sorry. Go yeah. baby. Yeah, these are going to be going on in New York Beauty, and I'm thinking about using these, these like with the gold lining on it and stuff, and like the points and stuff where there's points to the to the uh, stars and stuff. But look at that. That is something, man. Yeah, we're oh, gonna, that's nice. Yeah, we're gonna be going for it, man. This New York Beauty is gonna be a crusher. We're gonna kill it. I'm telling you, we're gonna kill it. All right. Priscilla so, says Missouri Star Quilt has effervescent fabric. Check them out. Priscilla, okay. don't you encourage this man right here? I'm, oh, don't worry, I have an account with him, <laughs> and I'm glad they don't know that it's me. All right. Uh, maybe you should. Quarter bring. inch. Here's your quarter inch ruler. All right. Add a quarter. Add a quarter. So it's the add a quarter ruler, right? Bring this up. Wait, let me let me hold this up here. Here's an outer quarter right here. Uh, hey, I don't. The bow was not for me. I don't know why that where that bow came from, but this is the outer quarter ruler. So you're gonna need one of these. All right, it's gonna get used on every block every time you. Baby, you got 243 people. Watching. I'm sorry. So look at that. This is amazing. The outer quarter. Thank so you now this on. comes in a six inch version. This one got used on my last one. I you gotta hold them down a little bit, baby. Oh, I'm sorry. We can't see this. Baby, grab that outer quarter, that fat one hanging on the side right there. It's 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 vertical. It's vertical. Up, nope, nope, up. To the left, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. Should keep going. Next to the window. Next to the window. Up, up. Right there, you're touching it. There you go. Alright, so they get they come in a couple of versions. They come like this, and then they come like this. Alright? This is a 12 inch outer quarter. All right, we're not working on anything that big, but they also come like this too, okay? All right, so I have an outer quarter, two outer, I have a couple of outer quarters. As a matter of fact, I'll probably send one out to somebody who isn't keeping up with us, okay? I also have um, my paper. Somebody says, have you tried the outer quarter plus? Outer quarter plus, no. Look at this. All right, so this paper is what we're going to be using. That's the Missouri Star Club. This is from Missouri Star. Big fan. <laughs> All right. And the reason why I'm a big fan is because they have great products. And it's, it's like super thin, that paper, yeah, right? Yeah. Really great. So Becca says, first time watching. Thank you, Sobecca. Thank you, Sobecca. Um, um, so this tool right here. It is the curve tool. I forget. I, I, I had the package around here. But this is the foot that I use. I don't know if you can see it. This is the foot that I use to do my curve piecing. It's curve tool. It's a curve. I think we have it listed in the link. In the um, link below? Like in the link for okay. his favorite, his favorite thing. It's on my Amazon thing, I think. Right? Yeah. Yeah. But this is what I use. I'm not... I, hey, look, I know where my shortcomings are and trying to like curve and all of that. No, I'm not doing it. I'm using something that helps. And this this foot right here is great. I love it. <laughs> he bets like, me, 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 I'll take it. Somebody said they have a quarter. Oh, they want to add a quarter. They're I said they're having trouble finding the add a quarter. All right, I've got a couple here. We'll send them out. Call no worries. Uh, so this one I'll send out, okay? And we'll send this one out too. But the one, my... My one that I use on my first New York Beauty, uh, this is a keeper. I'm keeping it. Right, let me can't up because. Okay, so I have my box with my my paper, my um, foot for curve piecing, my add a quarter. I got fabric. Hey, we're ready to rock and roll. I got my book, and this this fabric that was sent to some by somebody. We're gonna use some of this. This New York Beauty is gonna be this. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> okay. Well, I can't wait for our New York Beauty. Okay. He cracks me up. All right, so look. 
Um, Saturday. Okay, hold who on. Wanted, who wanted to add a quarterback? Get their address to the Senate. All right, send, um, send uh, your address to the quilting marine at gmail.com. How many do you have that you can? I've only got two. I'm not, because if I give so the, the first two. First two. You know, but I. But you gotta have. You need to add a quarter. You gotta have. For me, I have to have that. I'm sure there are people out here who can build a New York Beauty without one, but I, I need it because the add a quarter is gonna help you when you're piecing, when you do the flip over and the spacing. It's it's really it, once you get used to it and start using it, you'll see why. But we're ready to go. I'm just I'm just building. Uh, once I finish the quilt that I'm working on for my wife for our bed. Um, we're going hot, okay? We're gonna go hot. We're gonna go out the book. But well, this is what we're gonna do. So when we're ready to go, I'm gonna pull the, the um, templates out, and we're gonna go to what's that place where you go? Like Staples. Staples. And we're gonna get copies of the templates, okay? Because you're gonna be sewing on those of you who don't know. You're gonna be sewing on these, all right? So it would be better to just get copies so that you can keep your original, all right? So we're gonna get copies. And then we're gonna sew on them because you need the paper for piecing. And, or we're gonna print the, we'll, we'll try to print the pattern on this this paper here for our piecing, okay? So Sharon Wilson wants to know, did that come from Soya Quilt Shop, the fabric? I don't have anything from Soya. Yeah, Not that I know of. No, yeah, unless somebody purchased uh, uh, it. Maybe somebody purchased it from them and then, and but nothing it. directly, not yeah. yet. But once those guys start scrolling up some of this, it's going to be a going out of business sale. Believe me. Okay, so somebody said, could not see the words on TQM's favorite fabric. Can he read the salvage? Okay, well, which one? On, I guess, that one. This one? Okay, yeah. so this is 2009 Brother Sister Design Studio B24 Bravo 24 dash DVN Delta Victor November dash P07 Papa 07. Let me hold it up one more time. Um, I just looked and it looks like there's a lot of effervescent fabric on Etsy if you want more. Not all dolls have webbed paws either. Most likely the ones on the sink, like a stone list. Yeah. Um, I know That's, Carol that was said the dogs that normally can't swim are bulldogs, pugs, corgi, basset hound, and boxers. Yeah, I'm sure there's dogs who can't swim. I mean, there's no way that all dogs can swim. Um, okay, let's see. Just like human beings, right? All right, so let me tell you the story. So I'll go to boot camp. This is a long time ago, probably way before any of you were even around. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, uh, you know, going through recruit training, uh, Paris Island, South Carolina, 3rd Battalion, hotel company, you well. Anyway, <laughs> 3077 wow. was my platoon number. So um, we come to the pool phase. All right, pool phase is mandatory training for all Marines and recruits when they go through crew training. I know this because I was a drill instructor. So, you get on the tower, the first stage of crew training. You get on the tower, you're geared up, you have to jump off the tower, you, you, then you surface. What do you mean geared up? Like, what do you have on All right, right, so you have a pack, your camis, boots, and a, uh, a rubber ducky, and that's a, a, a fake weapon. Uh-huh. And you jump in the water, then you have to swim. So... Everyone's jumping in the water, and they're swimming. So there's a black recruit in front of me. No, there's a couple of black recruits in front of me. They go in, and they don't come up. <laughs> so the drill circles are jumping in the water, grabbing them and sticking them and grabbing them out of the water. And I grew up in a pool. I grew, I'm from Long Island, New York. I know the water. I'm, I swam in the ocean. But it I, made you feel like... Everyone had a pool, yeah. And I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> I started second second guessing myself. I'm like, maybe I don't know how to swim. <laughs> and it came to my turn, um, and I did like Mel. I just I didn't check my credentials. And I just jumped. So I hit the water. And I'm like, oh yeah, this is regular water, regular pool water. So I just start swimming, and all the drill instructors were like, no, you're not swimming. You, you're gonna drown. We're gonna make you drown. You need to get over there because, you know, all the, all the kids who could not swim, they had them standing on the very shallow end of the pool. And when I mean shallow, I mean it was like knee high. So, like, my four-year-olds could, like, sit in. So, they, they were like, you know, get out of the water. Get over there. And I got sent over. I was so mad because I had to go stand with these kids Why who couldn't swim. But... 
They wanted me to, to be and oh, like to help them because I was a squad leader at the time. Oh. So they wanted me to te help help with instruction of the kids who couldn't swim. And that was when I realized how many People. black black kids who come from the city or didn't yeah, have the opportunities that I had don't know how to don't swim. know how to swim. Yeah. Anyway, that was that was a story about recruit training. All right. So we're gonna fold this up. We're gonna use this. We're not going to use this one. So look, I'm going to cut off about a yard of this, and I'll share it. So some of you have it. How about that? Huh? I'm going to cut. I'm going to keep maybe two yards of this for myself, and uh -huh. then give out the rest because there's a there's quite a bit of it. Okay. And then you guys can have some of the same stuff I have. Oh, how generous! How about okay. that? So we shall see. For sharing. Um, yeah, we'll see how many we can bless. Uh huh. Just, uh, yeah. But, we you know, we're not, we're not going to go tit for tat, though. I want you guys to have your own, because, look, when we get done, we're going to do this. <laughs> and then we're going to share <laughs> what, photos. What is that? <laughs> that's, the, that's the photo session. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we're going to take po photos, and we're going to exchange photos, and we'll, we'll, we'll see who has... Well, we can put together like a montage um, or something. Yeah, 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 a montage. Like we did What is that, a uh, Christmas story? Fragile. <laughs> that must be from, You know that's my heart. That right? must be from Italy. I love me No, that story. says fragile. <laughs> Look. Okay, what is the book? Show the book again, baby. The we, book is... I'm not answering. I'm not even... Angie says, I just emailed. Let's see if I was one or two. All There's right, the book. Angie, we're going to see. Dazzling New York Beauty Sampler. This is what we're going out of. Sharon said, was from Camp Lejeune. Brother Sister Design is Hobby Lobby. Isn't it 2009 is a long time ago? Yeah. May no longer be available. Well, yeah, that's why it's been so Some friends, hard. cool, cool. Like our, our cool friends have been sending it, so it's out there. Yeah, but that is a good while ago. This, yeah, so that's why I'm, I'm ultra, ultra security <laughs> Somebody sensitive. Somebody said, put it up on the wall in the frame. Like, yeah. <laughs> ah, um, I love this. This stuff is really good. That's a big swimmer. Okay. I've got another one somewhere around here in my quilt stash, in my fabric stash. Best paper ever for paper piecing. It's from Missouri Star Quilt Company. Yes. So we're going to be printing onto that paper. I have seven. My business partner and I are discussing starting some classes in our local area and wanted eight to ten to allow students without machines. Oh, that's oh, nice. That's, good. that's cool, too. Awesome, Morgan. Yeah, that's a big deal. All right, let me um, where's let me have that fabric. Let me put it in a. A good thing would be probably be to show, you know, to get the males because you know males are are usually harder to recruit when it comes to something like this. Show them stuff that males have made. Let me see. Two thousand nine. Brother, sister. Yeah, design. I show. In painting. Studio. I think Auntie has to use the bathroom, so. Okay. All right, so that'll be it then, huh, babe? Let me see if I, I'm getting licked here. I'm trying to put the description. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie's over there looking Auntie does the not face. like anyone to be on. Yeah, here. when you're on the computer, Auntie's like, no. Uh, like, I, I need all the love. Okay. I want your attention. I need it all. That right the machine now. doesn't need your attention. I need your attention. Um, okay, let me see. Uh, I'm sorry if I have So this been... is um, holiday accents. That These fabric will be great backing, sure. says Diane. Yeah, yeah this is a fat quarter bundle. Uh, fat quarter bundle. Let me. Um, holiday accents. Seventy four seven four zero zero dash one zero. Let me have that too. Let me put it in. Rjrfabrics.com. Now, now, when we start, we may it, use it, we may not. I'm not sure, but okay, it's so on standby. Gonna put, yeah, we'll put everything in in the description when the time comes. Yeah, I know. Everybody but you gotta have you, you gotta have add a quarter, all right? Now you may, your skill set may be good enough where you can you can um right, stitch in curves, but I'm using the um the curved foot. I, I I've got to because I know how to use it. And I like using it. some paper, some fabric, and we're gonna rock and roll, okay? All right. I'm Rotary cutter. I'm being abused over here. Okay. Um. So 
Thanks for watching, everybody. Sorry, I didn't get to, but my dogs are like. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. They need their time, and we need to give our babies their time. So I really appreciate you guys coming yeah, by. Yeah, 243 of you wow. watching right now. That's like a record. That's a record. That's a record. Uh -oh. Thanks. Look, dogs turn the camera side. Oh, the camera's been looking at the wall. <laughs> Not the whole wall. <laughs> All right. So thanks for watching, guys. Oh, um, look. Be safe. Week? Yes. Be Take safe. Take care of one another. Take care of one another. Wear your seatbelt, please. We love you all. We love you guys. We love spending. I didn't realize how much fun we had yeah. missing out on. It's a great. Uh, it's a great part of our weekend. Yeah. It's Sunday. Yeah. Spending time with you guys, and we will keep you posted. You'll see a description on everything we're going to be using for the new beauty. We're going to rock put, and roll. I'm willing to put my quilt on the back burner so that you can start to New York Beauty. No, we got to wait for everybody. I don't think everybody's ready yet. Yeah, okay. okay. So once everybody's ready, so we're, we're going So maybe we high. should go ahead and put the video for the, the well, we also need Well, we also need to show how we're going to get the copies of the templates. Okay. But so we need gonna, to at least give them what they need. How about we do that? At least put that out for this week so they can yeah, start yeah, yeah. Stuff. Like the tools? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we'll do that. We love you all. Thank y'all so much thanks, for guys. joining us today. Really. Remember, it's only fabric and it's only thread. All right. Have a good week, y'all. Yes. Have a great week. Be safe.